We're here at the Iraq Veteran 8888 shoot, and today we are taking a look at some products from Ultradyne. Uh, this right here, these are some of the slickest little sights I've ever seen. A while back, I did a review on the uh, the GG and G Mad multi aperture device, and what that does is it allows you to kind of spin around so you get different drop values on your rear sight, so that way you can be able to hit targets anywhere from 200 yards out to 600 yards, and all you have to do is just dial up, and then it should be pointed roughly in the right direction. This one right here takes things a little bit different direction. I've gotten to shoot some biathlon sites before that have a rear peep, kind of a you know a, an aperture here at the back, and then they also have an open aperture at the front instead of that solid little post like you normally get on an AR-15 or an AK or whatever. Yeah, this has a hole that's actually drilled right through that uh, front post, so that way you get two circles and you can actually see your target through the center of that. And uh, those things work out really well for biathlon and for other kind of 22 rimfire uh, kind of target shoots and you know apparently uh, according to the uh, what's your name again it's Parker good to meet you and uh, yeah he was talking about how these were designed for a three gun he does and I can see that it, it seems like they're really lightweight both the front and the rear and it looks like they have a couple different models on the uh, on the front ones this one attaches to the rail and then this one's a, I guess an integral piece this is, is this actually attached to the brake or is it snug down by the brake? So uh, what it is is we've got a pin on the back of the, this is called the dynamount, pin on the back of the dynamount and you've got three uh, locations so you can do 45 offset left, right or 90 degree up front. Uh, you have a timing nut back here. Seems, I mean, it takes a second to get it in there, but it's actually really simple to install. So once you get through there, the, the difference from here to uh, putting it here is you get an extra, depending on your rail, you know, two to three inches of sight radius. Plus you get the rigidity of your barrel, just like the old bolt action rifles that had that. So instead of having your rail that can move and put you off like know, up to 100 yards, or not, at 100 yards up to a couple feet, yeah. this is going to keep you on target all through there. Okay, so if, if someone did want to pull this off, put it back on again, is it pretty easy to get it back to that yes. you know, original spot? Uh, yes, I mean, you're always going to have to check your zero. It's not like a, a quick detach or anything like that, but it's pretty simple. I mean, you got the timing nut, you screw all the way down, screw this on, then back it up, line it up, and two, uh, two wrenches, you're ready to go. Yeah, and this is one where I think it'd be a really cool idea if you did want to take this off, you know, maybe get a boresight laser or something so you can verify, okay, this is where I'm actually actually hitting, put it back on, that should be pretty simple. And yeah, show us some of the features of how you actually adjust this, because this is one of the slickest little things. All right, so I'm actually gonna fold this down, because when I go to shoot later, I wanna hit. So, uh, but we'll show you on the, the rail one. So we actually, as far as we know, we're the only ones with a front sight that's got windage on it. That allows you to be able to still adjust your windage on the rear side here. Now, it sounds ridiculous, because people are like, well, who's shooting long range with irons? And I'm telling you, 600 yards is nothing with this. Yeah. So uh, you've got your left and right windage here on your front. That's what you use to sight in. And then if you're going to, you know, your elevation is toolless adjustment. So if you forget your tool, do something like that, you're at the range, you don't have to figure out how to get that out. You can always just flip it around like that, get it going. Real simple system. Yeah, and I really like that because that, that's one of the big issues with the typical AR-15 style uh, sight. If you're actually out on the range, you have to have that little tool or maybe a little, you have to kind of fabricate one to push that little pin down so you can spin it around. And I like that you can just do it with your fingers. That's really slick. Great thing back here, as you'll see, we've got two through six with half increments in between it. So this is uh, actually a cam inside here. You're not getting the same, every time you turn it, you're going to have a different variant of how much this raises. So you can see just it starts to build and get higher and higher with every click. So you got 50 yard increments from 200 out to 600. It is amazingly simple and amazingly accurate. Yeah, and as you can see, it folds down really flat. So that was one of the things I really liked about that Mad G G and G uh, one, is that you could actually get it under the bell. Uh, the, the ocular bell, excuse me, yeah, yeah the ocular bell of the, uh, the scope so that you, you could actually run your optic, take it off if you need to, and then deploy that. Pretty simple. And it feels like it's pretty snug up here. It's not going to no, fold too No, no, we, you know, we went through a lot of things with that. You know, we went out and shoot. I mean, the best thing to do is shoot things. So we, we yeah. tried all these different spring combinations before we got it right to where, you know, it's not too hard, but it's not too soft. And no matter what you're shooting, it's not going to flip down. Yeah. So. yeah, so leave a comment, guys. Tell me if you want, uh, if you want to check one of these things. 
things out, see how these perform. Like, you know, because we do have some options. We can take these out a little bit longer than usual. And I think that's where a site like this would really shine is when you're being able to hit targets that are a little further off than your average AR shooter is going to actually shoot their rifle. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem, sir. All right, guys, practical test of the Ultradyne sights. Uh, so, yeah, we got the Ultradyne rear and front. And this is a, uh, five, a 5.56 AR-15. Just the way I like it. It's going to take these targets target to about 75 yards and then out at 100. Uh, we're going to try for a little copper out there on a hill. Okay, initial reaction. I missed, I missed that first shot. Um, but the other ones, yeah, it's easy. You can see straight through here. Of course, uh, a pretty big field of view going through here. And once you get those circles lined up, it's really easy. Of course, the other part that we're looking at is the Ultradyne muzzle brake, which is extremely aggressive. I noticed it for the first time, there you go, when uh, I was standing back behind the line and I felt this, this sudden wave of wind felt really refreshing on a cool day. Yeah, this thing really puts out some air. I can actually feel it going down my arm as I shoot. It really works. It doesn't feel like much at all. This does not feel like an AR-15. I think we have one shot left. Let's do it. better with this. Uh, yeah. The, the two images just kind of converge. It works out really well. Oh. If you try and line up the circles, you'll miss it. I, it's the weirdest thing. If you try and line it up, like, you know, with the front side post, you try, you're trying to line it up, you're going to miss. As long as you yeah. can see it clearly, your eyes have already lined up. You just got to kind of embrace it and let your body do the work. Yeah. It is such a system but it is so much more accurate than having a front sight that's covering your target and then you're trying to center it so with this like i said as long as it's a quick picture you're going to hit it almost every time yeah like two eyes converged on oh, it yeah it was yeah two eyes, I, I leave the eyes open, both eyes open and shoot yeah so i want you to try this 308 man those guys the 308 is going to make that break seem yeah, it's so much more impressive when you put it on this. It's louder. All right, so this is the 308 version. It's also a CMMG rifle. I guess it's the yeah. Very similar configuration, uh, similar muzzle brake out there, same sight. And what we're really looking for here is what it feels like. Supposedly, this brake really it feels it like no other. Going to reduce the recoil. So what did it feel like? It, uh, not a whole lot of recoil. I get a nice little breeze, cools me off a little. Feels nice. Great thing, so we designed all these where it shoots back and it progresses. So, like, if you're shooting your home, yeah, hold 
like that, it's just gonna barely graze your arm. Yeah. All right, so you'll get over that, but nothing hits you in the face. So you're not gonna right. flinch or anything like that. So when it, we kind of base a lot of stuff off three gunners, and you can <laughs> you can take the volume of it, but you can't get hit in the face with wind and not. You know, it's gonna throw you off. So we made sure none of that happens. It ports out left and right up top so you don't have a fireball in your way. You're never gonna be impaired by that. We've done a lot, well, they've done a lot of research to make sure this is the best it is. I've shot a lot of ARs, m shot a lot of M16s, M4s, iron sights. This feels different, but in a good way. I've never felt a break like this, and I've never seen iron sights like that and you know I, I was gonna say it takes some getting used to but maybe not really that much you know it's uh it feels pretty natural it just it feels a little different but i like it now, you've got to train yourself on this as it's a different method i mean you're supposed to focus on your target the number one thing is shoot with focus on your target and with this it makes you focus on your target better way to show them than put them on this system. All right, focus on your target, keep it. pull the trigger. Versus your target, is that little black line that's fuzzy, wavy, and is that in on it? Uh, you might hit it, pull the trigger. Cool. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.